What's up guys, Dave here, back again with another episode of Tech Unraveled. And today, today I have the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. So you know what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna get this box popped. We're gonna go ahead and get it set up. We're gonna go through its features and I'm gonna let you know what I think. Sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Let's do this. Let's go right now. So inside it is packing a Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 4100. It has military standards, 810G, up to 72 hours of battery in smart mode and 45 days in essential mode. That's that's pretty powerful stuff there. 20 plus professional workout modes, IP68, waterproof and swim suitable. It's got Google Assistant built in, IHB, AFib detection and fatigue assessment built-in GPS, dual displays with customizable, colorful backlights, high density heart rate, stress, and sleep tracking, Google Pay built in, and 1,000 plus watch faces, which are available on the Google Play Store. All right, so let's see, how does this, there we go. Boom. There she is right off the bat. I like this really nice sleek black finish. So first impressions, this band, the silicone is very, very soft. Here, let's take this guy off. Oh yeah. So the band itself is very soft, which I like. Very comfortable. Let's go a little bit further into the box here. Product safety information, a little warranty stuff and your magnetic charger. How does that go on? Let's take a quick peek. Boom. So let's put that back in the box. Let's get this fired up. And of course, of course it is dead. Nope, nope. False alarm. Looks like I put it into recovery mode. While of that starting up, what I did is I already went onto the Play Store and I downloaded the Mobvoi app. So we can open it up here and be prepared. I signed into my account, tap to begin. Now we're waiting for the pairing process here. There we go. We are fully paired and ready to go. This is the Mobvoi app. You can see really quick here what your completion of your weekly goal is, and you can customize that as well. You also have a badge center in here to see which rewards you've won. That way you keep motivated and keep moving and keep going. Then you have your activity tracker, which obviously we just paired this up, so it's not gonna have any information in here. Your exercise, and you can check this out for the day, the week, the month, that way you can really focus and drive down how you're using the watch, how you're exercising, and keep track of all of your goals. It also has a sleep tracker. Now, the plus side to this watch is the extended battery life. So you're not always having to worry about charging it at nighttime because it has, in standard mode, 72 hours plus. You can definitely track your sleep with this watch and not worried about waking up with it dead with my Apple Watch here, my Series 7, it definitely will not make a whole day, whole night and be able to track my sleep, then be able to charge it the next day to keep it going in a short window while I'm getting ready before work. This is a huge plus with the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS, man, these names, but battery life is awesome on this thing. It also has the ability to take your heart rate. And let's see, we can also manage some other items within the app here, and you can kind of customize it to your liking as you see. So let's go ahead and put the watch on and kind of run through its settings inside. And again, guys, this silicone is super soft. It's gonna be very comfortable. One of the things that helps battery life on this watch is its dual displays. So the main display, which you're gonna see more often than not, which my camera is having a hard time picking up, it's just kind of like an ink display using very little power. And then we also have, oh, the color display, which is gonna use more battery life, but it's gonna be vibrant, it's gonna be rich in color, uh, and it's gonna look great as you guys can now see in the camera. 
Now the bottom button here is going to launch your tick coach, which is going to give you the option of finding which exercise you're going to be doing. That way you can really track what's happening. So if you're doing an outdoor run or an indoor run, if you're going cycling, freestyling, pole swimming, row machine, elliptical, I mean, there are so many options here to dial in and lock down exactly what you're doing so the watch can track your calories, your counts really, really, really well. So let's go ahead and back out here. Let's swipe down. When you swipe down, it's gonna bring your status bar and it's gonna give you your familiar stuff if you wanna use your G-Pay, do not disturb mode. If you wanna go into airplane mode, you can. You can swipe over to the left and that is going to bring up your Google Home screen. Right there, you can click on the mic. What will the weather be today? Today in Coconut Creek, it'll be mostly sunny with a forecasted high of 79 and a low of 64. Currently it's 65 degrees and sunny. There you go. Now we can swipe from the bottom up and this is gonna give you all of your notifications that are inside the watch that you've received. You can clear them, that way they are no longer there. Now if you swipe over to the right, you have hours of movement, minutes, and your step counter and we can keep swiping for the weather. It'll also bring up your calendar. And then let's see, it can't detect my heart rate. We probably have to activate it. Let's see how well this works. So 84 beats per minute. Let's do this. Let's, let's compare it to the Apple Watch real fast, guys. So there is definitely a discrepancy as to what my heart rate is. And that's actually a pretty big variable, I think. Maybe one's on the right hand, one's on the left hand, but you would think your heart beats, your heart beat, your heart beat. I don't know, but that kind of gives you an idea of where both of these watches lie. Now we can also go into your settings and you can kind of set up your display how you like it. You can change your watch faces right from within the app here. You can set it up to something that you like. You can set up the sounds, your media controls, your apps and notifications. You can definitely customize the whole watch exactly the way you want it. So right off the bat, guys, I think it looks classy. It's super comfortable, nice large screen, great battery life, and tons of options to track your activity, your sleep, anything really that you would want to track. So that's what I have for you today. If you like this video or I helped you in any way, smash that thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell. That way you get notified of my next video. I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.